What do I feel when I'm behind the wheel? I feel like I'm naturally hot. Pull up to the pit. It's your turn to go. You know, your heart starts pumping. Pumping, pumping, pumping. And if you're with two, three other cars, they're going to put the pressure on you, you know? They're going to be on your door. You're going to be side to side. You got to be ready to just go in there and just give it all you got. Sliding, swinging, hot laps, whatever you want to call it, you know? Yeah, it started a long time ago in Oakland, obviously. Oakland's the land of the sideshows. It's just a lifestyle, the way we grew up. You know, you see it in the music videos or you see it in real life. Police is getting hotter. They're playing cops and robbers, but we ain't robbing nobody. We just over there trying to have fun, you know? Go straight, go straight! Go straight! Some people take away their stress with drugs. Some people take away their stress with killing people, robbing people. We take away our stress with just killing our tires. The Bay Area period, man. This, this is where side shows were made, man. All right, now we're in Vallejo, California. You know, I was born and raised here. Everybody knows it because of Mac Dre, E-40, you know, all the famous rappers. They're all from here. This is the Sideshow Bucket of Vet. Everybody calls me Real One out here. Short for Real One, stay sliding. Been doing this car stuff for a good minute now. That's all I really do is uh, buy, sell cars, we fix cars, slide cars, you know. That's the lifestyle well, that I live, really. Yeah, this is my house, this is my pad, whatever you want to call it, you know. It's a real one shop, you know. This is where I uh, bring the cars, fix them up, get them ready to sell. I'm about to show y'all a few whips that we got going on. This one right here, this is my boy Funky's car. We went all the, all the way to Vegas to get this one. Then I got this one. I drove all the way to LA to grab this one right here. Everybody wants 10K or better for their 5.0s nowadays. I just changed the, um, the headers. It had these old nasty crusty ones. I took those out, replaced them with some BBK shorties. Like, I'm not tripping, I'm not looking to keep them, I'm looking to buy and flip, you know? Stack chips, flip whips, take trips, that's all we do. Growing up in Vallejo, it was uh, pretty tough. You know, when I was a kid, it would mainly be about um, like uh, gang violence and stuff like that. Once the car scene started popping more out here, that uh, other stuff started getting lower and lower. But what a sideshow is, a group of people coming together to do donuts in the intersection. When a car breaks traction, you know, the rear tires start spinning, smoke starts coming out, and they just throw it in a circle and then just keep it going. It started a long time ago in Oakland, obviously. Oakland's the land of the sideshows. It did come out of the black community. Nowadays, it doesn't matter whether you're white, black, Mexican, Asian, whatever you are, it's good, like, you can slide through. Right now, we're in Vallejo, you know. Vallejo and Oakland are pretty uh, well connected. I grew up in the hills. I used to watch the OGs swing their cars. I was like 11, 12, around there. Used to watch them pass by the block, pull up, swing their cars, and you know, I liked it. I was like, man, when I get older, I'm trying to be a big dog, you know. I'm trying to go slice something. Yeah. Brought the notch out. Another little 5-0. Caught on fire three times already. He's still out sliding. They don't stop us. We just keep the fire extinguisher in the car. We ain't lying, gotta keep it on us. Once it catches on fire, turn that motherfucker off, get right back to it. Hey, so basically for uh, tomorrow, I was thinking we should uh, meet in Vallejo. We'll meet up at nine, head out at 10, hit a few spots out here and then head to the town. That was uh, my first car right here. Bought this one back when I was in high school. It's in the graveyard right now, but we are gonna uh, bring it back to life. I was like 16, 17, I bought my first car. I'm hella juiced. I'm over here taking pictures of the cars. Like, man, I can't wait to show my bro, you feel me? Like, we, I'm gonna show him that we ain't walking no more. Probably like 10, 15 minutes passed by and then I get the call, hey, uh, hey, uh, your uh, brother passed away. I'm like, I just broke down, broke down. I, I left the car there, I walked it up here and just, uh, just sat down over there and just broke down. Uh, I was going through it for a minute. Shit, I still remember it like it was just yesterday. I never got to ride in it with my brother. This was supposed to be our car, you know? It was supposed to be our car to mob everywhere with. 
changed me a lot. Back then, I never used to like give a fuck about nothing. It made me appreciate life more, that I'm still alive. We could still breathe, I could still eat, I could still see my loved ones, my loved ones could still see me. It made me wake my game up and see that life ain't no joke. The cars kept me distracted. Cause I would, if I wasn't like doing nothing with cars, I would just like start thinking about that and it would just bring me down. You feel me? So going to go slide, there was days um, we would go slide every day, literally every day. Like, Caesar would be like, bruh, like, again? Like, you was just here yesterday. You need, you need tires again? I'm like, just take my money. Don't ask no questions. Just take my money. Uh, we're at Express Tires now. This is Caesar. What up, Pops? What's up? Chilling. Yeah, so I met Caesar. Years ago, I was just a young buck. We bought my first car, started coming here, and just ever since then, I, this is the only tire shop I would go to. This is the one who's gonna put me out of business. <laughs> you know, always 20 bucks for each tire you know, I sell it to you. <laughs> it was just like a bad time for me, you know, I went to jail, lost everything, lost my house, my cars, my job, everything basically. My license, remember when I lost my license? I lost everything, and then I, I didn't have nowhere to stay. Got my car at the impound, so I was staying in my car, and then I just asked Caesar. I was like, hey, Caesar, uh, can I park my car outside of the shop? I'm like, what you mean, park outside of it? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sleep in my car. Can I just park it outside? He's like, sleep yeah. outside? He's like, man, I stay inside, yeah, man. I, I, got a, I got a whole room for you, come on. Yeah. It was a bed and then uh, some drawers and stuff, and it was, it was literally a whole room. It was cool. Since I met him, we've been friends for years, so when he went down on all this situation, Say, yeah, man, we're going to stay here. Why not? Well, uh, it feels good because I met a lot of friends, you know. I met, I it gets a lot of love. Guys, but yeah, everybody knows me. Everybody. Knows me. I don't know. Back in the old school days, a lot of people wanted to be gang members. Now people want to be sideshow cats. You know, so people want to burn rubber and have a clean whip. So instead of people going to go hurt people, they want to buy a car. They want to buy a car and now. Burn like, the rubber. And burn rubber. <laughs> I've been through my fair shares of uh, legal matters. I've uh, ended up in the courtroom, you know, ended up uh, having to do uh, time or having to pay fines, you know, having to go on ankle, you know, things like that. All that really does, like, calm you down, I guess, but it's really not gonna change nobody. If you're somebody who loves this car scene, you're always gonna love this car scene. So right now we're going to the OG's house in the hills, uh, Hillside Vallejo, uh, to go do a little barbecue, you know, just chill before the show. It brings people together. It's just like, it don't matter what race you are, it don't matter where you're from, what gang you're from, what, uh, you know, what set you're from, what, what's your block, what's this, what's that, what city, no. Everybody's just coming together to come kill some tires. Yeah, about tonight we're gonna have about 100 to 200. That's the low end. Hopefully it ain't too hot tonight. Hey, yo, we on our way to the uh, meetup. Usually you just uh, just go to the meetup, you know, send out the meetup. Um, once you get to the meetup, you know, it's all word of mouth. You can't make a list. You make a list and you're burnt. You might as well go home at that point. Hey, nothing like the Bay Area, nigga. Hey, nobody compete with nobody, nigga, in the Bay Area. You know the thing? So y'all know the drill, man. I'm gonna give y'all the spots right now. Hey, and keep that shit in the DM. Don't be posting spots. So right now we headed to the first spot. The first spot's always the littest because everybody's there. <laughs> A lot of these young cats, they like chasing clout. When I was younger, you had to earn your respect. Go out there and drive, show your bars, you know, get respected. You know, a lot of kids nowadays, they just want attention. Oh, post me, tag me. Like, not what it's about. Hey, 
go, let's go. Next spot, next spot. Next spot, next spot. Oh yeah, they're chasing somebody. They on somebody. They ain't catching that trail blazer, that's my boy. My boy gone on the watch. When I was younger, I didn't care. I'll, I'll still keep going, man, chase me. But we're really not there to mess with the police or to try to get into no trouble, you know? We're really trying to avoid that trouble. We're just there to, um, to get this stress that we, uh, that we have in our um, everyday lives, take it out in a way. I feel like they be doing extra. They be doing extra, it's unnecessary. Like, they see somebody running, why are you still gonna chase them? Obviously, they're gonna keep going faster and faster. Because if they stop chasing us, we'll just slow down, stop, and go home. You know, but you're mad because somebody's doing donuts in an intersection. Night went pretty good, man. Uh, most of the spots got lit. We was in the 707 in Vallejo, and then uh, we came down to the 510 out here in Oakland. But yep, we ready to go. It brings the community together. It brings um, people from opposite sides that really don't fuck with each other. And people from opposite neighborhoods can get along at this place because we're only there for one thing, and that's to enjoy ourselves, to get that adrenaline, you know, get our blood pumping. Experienced a lot of loss, a lot of pain, um, but I also gained a lot of love, like probably 10 times more love than the pain that I got, you know, like, I done got a lot of love shown to me still to this day. I appreciate the respect that people give me. Like, the respect that I get is, uh, is appreciated more. Shit, I'll take the respect over the money even. <laughs> <laughs> 